Charlotte. Keyword Uptown. Welcome to the wheelhouse. This is where the Queen City begins again. I know it's too early in the week, but what are your plans this weekend? It might include eating out at a restaurant and whatever's your choice, it's going to be good. As photojournalist Tim Mulliken and I discovered, the food scene rebooted ever since Johnson & Wales University opened its kitchens. Four o'clock, an hour and a half. It's exam time at the Charlotte campus of Johnson & Wales University. If you could start all over, would you do anything differently? A familiar question, also asked in hell as in Hell's Kitchen. What's that? Two Johnson & Wales graduates from other campuses have won over Gordon Ramsay, becoming head chefs in one of his restaurants. Want a little more caramelization of the meat? Sometimes you have to be a little bit more stern. Many of assistant professor James O'Hara's students will stay in the Charlotte area, helping to make our city a food destination. Now, oh, It's not going to happen overnight, but in due time, these students will get out into the industry and one day be running their own restaurants. When the Queen City opened its doors to the inaugural class seven years ago, just over a thousand students walked through. Now, enrollment is just over 2,500, with half coming from out of state. It's winner, winner, fried carp dinner. The multitude of celebrity chefs and cooking TV shows inspired many to take their cooking to the next level. I see nice color. I was doing it at home. I was a housewife, and um, I was getting a lot of comments from family members and friends saying that, oh, you know, you're really good at this. With its open kitchen classrooms, the school helps to draw more traffic and business uptown and over the years, rebooting the area. We make love with about... 18 to 20 students per class. In a nine-day session, we make about 7,000 of those chocolates. Since Johnson & Wales moved to the Third Ward in 2004, it has helped to revitalize this part of town. And now, its graduates help serve fine food fits for a queen. Welcome to the Ritz-Carlton. Joshua Kane works as the pastry chef at the Ritz-Carlton. He was in the first graduating class at Johnson & Wales. When he returned to Charlotte as part of the hotel's Uptown launch, Josh noticed a different food scene. Some of the restaurants that are here now, I've never even heard of. And I think that having Johnson & Wales here, I think it's really opened up people's mind to turn it into a foodie kind of town. Josh's creative touch, professionally taught at school, is all over the hotel. And we really want to show them the wow factor of how, what makes the Ritz stand apart from everyone else. And as part of the Ritz atmosphere, you might want to look closely at the accent pieces and Madame Coco. Everything from the purse to the dress, the hat, and even the mannequin is made from chocolate. And it all started in the third ward. Besides helping to launch the Ritz's Bar Coco, Josh also teaches pastry cooking to the public on certain weekends.